I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to this series on trapezoids. We will first try to understand what is a trapezoid and then we will also understand how to derive a formula to find area of a trapezoid. After that we will take a few examples to practice. So let's begin with the figure shown here. Here we have a four sided figure. We call this as a quadrilateral, right? Now this four sided figure is very special as it has a pair of parallel sides. So any quadrilateral with at least one pair of parallel sides is called a trapezoid. So why am I saying at least one pair? It can have two pairs of parallel sides like a rectangle also. So a rectangle will become a very special trapezoid. Okay. So what you can say from here is that a rectangle is a trapezoid but all trapezoids are not a rectangle. Even a parallelogram is a trapezoid. Okay. So we have a quadrilateral four sided figure with a pair of parallel sides. Now how do we find area of this? So one method to find area is uh, what we can do here is that we can flip uh, and place side by side. What I really mean to say here is that we have a trapezoid here. So if I kind of flip, that means if I flip it in this fashion and place them side by side, what I get really, so let's say this side I put on the bottom, so we get a length of two units, let's say here, and on the right, on the top, I put that side. In that case, if I place them side by side, I actually get exactly two trapezoids. Do you see that? So if I flip and place side by side, we'll give true trapezoids. Now these two trapezoids also form a parallelogram, right? Which is also a parallelogram. So you know the area of parallelogram. So from there we can find area of trapezoid. So this is the basic concept. Now let's give some dimensions so that we can work with it more precisely. So let us say this length is A to begin with and that length is B. So what we did here, we kind of brought B there and A here. So what happened? The net length of our parallelogram is A plus B. That becomes the base now. And the height remains same as it was earlier. Correct? So, so what is the area of parallelogram? Let me write parallelogram in this fashion. So that will be base times height. So this area of parallelogram is base of A plus B times height H. Correct. So we get area of a parallelogram which is actually equals to area of how many trapezoids? Two trapezoids, right? So therefore, what is the area of a trapezoid? Half of this, right? So we get A plus B times height divided by 2. 
Does that make sense to you? Correct? So we get area of trapezoid as sum of these two parallel sides times height divided by 2. So we could write this as sum of parallel sides times height divided by 2. So that becomes the formula for area of trapezoid. So let me write down here area of trapezoid A equals to sum of parallel sides let's write like this height divided by 2. Good. So now we are going to use this formula to find area of trapezoids. So I hope the concept is absolutely clear. We'll use this concept once again to explain the concept and then take a few examples. That would be better. Okay, so let's take up the next part. Now here is an example for you to explore. Once again, we have a trapezoid here. The question for you is to explain how you can find area of the given trapezoid. Correct? So that is what it is. Let's take some numbers here. Let's say this side is 2 and this side is 5. The length is 5. And let's say the height given to us is 4. Now you need to find area of this trapezoid. How are you going to do it? So like we did last time, We'll add a length of 5 on this side and length of 2 on the other side. So this length of 2 we'll add on this side and a length of 5 on the other side. And then we join. So in this case, what we get is a rectangle. Do you see that part? So this is 5 and this is 2. A rectangle whose base is 5 plus 2 as 7 and whose height remains as 4. So area of rectangle is what? Is 4 times 7, right? Is 7 times 4, you can say, which is equal to 28, right? So that is the area. So we normally write units are not given, so we'll just write unit square. Now, there are two trapezoids in this, right? So we have one trapezoid and the other one. Both are exactly same. So what is the area of trapezoid? It is half of this, right? It is half of 28. And that gives you 14 units square. Do you see that? So that is how you could find it. Now, let's find it direct using formula. Now, formula for area is what? Area is sum of opposite sides, which is A plus B, times height divided by 2. Now, sum of opposite sides means 5 plus 2 times height of 4 divided by 2. That is 7 times 4 divided by 2, which also gives us again 14 units square. Do you see how it works? So, so that shows that our formula is perfect and it can be utilized in different scenarios. Okay, so that's absolutely clear. Let's take up some questions to practice. So here, there are two trapezoids. You can pause the video now, answer to find the area of these trapezoids. You need not sketch as we did last time, but if you want to, you can make a copy of this, practice using sketching, getting your parallelograms or rectangles, and find the area. I'm going to use the formula directly to find the area. You will see that these figures are slightly different from previous ones. The base here, which are the parallel sides, are the vertical sides. Do you see that? So area, in this case, will be 4 plus 2 times distance between them, which is 3 divided by 2. Correct? So that gives you 
6 times 3 divided by 2 or 6 times 3 is 18 divided by 2 is 9 and the units are meters square. So now you get it. Last time we didn't have any units so we just placed unit square. Now we do have units so put the units whatever given to you. Does it make sense? Now this is a question for you. Do it yourself. Write down your answer and then check with my solution. Okay, so let's quickly do this area also. This will be, we have to add 4 and 8 times 8 to 5 divided by 2. That gives us 12 times 5 divided by 2 or 6 times 5, 30 units are centimeters squares. So don't forget to mention the units. Perfect. Here is the last question for you. This time you have to draw and then find the area of a trapezoid. So the question for you is to draw a trapezoid with two right angles, one base six centimeter, the other base three centimeter, and the height four centimeter. Then find the area of the trapezoid. So you can pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Correct? Okay. Now, two right angles means what? So at times this could be confusing, right? So this is a right angle. Do you see that right angle? And we are also given one base of six and the other base of three. So let us say this is three, then I can draw another one, six. So we have these two right angles perfect this base base basically here means parallel sides do you understand six centimeters and three centimeters we are given the height of four centimeters four centimeters now we just need to join the other two points since it is a four-sided figure it's a quadrilateral right so that is how you're going to sketch it Important thing is that we should have one pair of parallel sides at least. Now once you do that, that becomes a perfect diagram and area. You can find by adding the parallel sides which are in this case 6 plus 3. Multiply them with the height which is 4 divide by 2. Right. So we get 6 plus 3 is 9 times 4 divided by 2. So that could be cancelled with 2 and we do get area of 18 centimeters square. So our answer is 18 centimeters square. So I hope with this you clearly understand the geometry behind deriving the formula for area and the algebra of calculating it. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe my videos that would be great. Share my videos with your friends. Thanks for watching and all the best.